I'm so overwhelmed with how much stuff is in this garage. But guess what? It's renovation time. Time to clear it out. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I haven't been around for a while. Uh, I took about a four to five month uh, break. Um, unfortunately, um, had a death in the family, actually two deaths in the family. Um, my brother and my aunt, they passed away in the same week. So it was really hard on my family and I. So um, it just didn't feel right to do anything. Um, just to go on with daily routines, it was really tough and really hard. Um, anybody out there, you know when you lose somebody, even just you know anybody a family member friend it's really tough on you but losing two in a week it just took me for a spin so i just had to take some time away spend time with my family and everything like that but i'm um, trying to get back on track okay so since i'm going to get back to the projects i figured let's just start documenting and start putting everything back on the channel um because the ones that have been following me since the beginning you've known I've been wanting to renovate this garage. Um, I plan on boxing up this beam. So there's a beam that goes right down the center of the garage with sister board. So I'm gonna box, have them, the contractor, box in this beam and then sheetrock the whole ceiling. Uh, remove the old tape from the drywall that's on the wall because you can see how some of them are splitting a little bit. You can see right here, see how the tape is coming up? And you can see the lines all the way around here. This is a part that was dangling, so I just ripped it off. So you can see how they're cracking and everything. I don't know if that's from settling or whatever, but my guy's gonna come in. He's gonna rip all the tape out, retape everything, drywall the ceiling, make frame out that beam, box it in, and reinstall these lights. See, Before I, I go any further, I wanted to show a new toy that was added to the fleet. 85 RX-7 here, so yeah. I actually got this for a Christmas present. Um, I was shocked. I was told, uh, go outside. I got something for you in the garage. Had no idea, I'm thinking it was like a toolbox or something like that. Turns out it was a first gen RX-7. So. The garage renovation is happening. Um, it's starting up this week, but the only thing is I gotta have this whole garage cleaned out by Thursday. And I have all this stuff. I have to either box up, Put in some uh, bins that I bought from Home Depot. Gotta pull the cars out. Bumpers, seats, motors, transmissions, tires, everything. Equipment. Everything has to be pulled out because they're gonna be tearing down the whole ceiling and sanding and painting and everything like that. And they're gonna be doing some new electricity for me. So, I mean, this garage space is gonna be really nice and I'm so excited for it. It's been a long time coming and I'm glad that this is my actual first video to get the juices flowing again since I've been going through a really tough time. So. All right, so this is day two of the clean up. Uh, maybe I should just say clean out of the garage because it is getting renovated. So we still got a lot to clean out. I pulled out the Eclipse. I'm um, just gonna pull some bins in here to get a lot of this stuff binned up. And as a whole, we're gonna just stuff all these cabinets with as much as we can because this is all going outside. Um, we got to pull out the turbo too. We got to pull out the convertible, the Talon, and the new addition to the uh, fleet, the first gen R7. <laughs> gonna be packing up all my toolboxes. I have all my toys that I um, store over here on top of my toolbox. 
Hopefully with the new garage, I'm gonna be able to put up a nice uh, glass display so I can display it on the wall somewhere. Um, of course, the Fast and Furious Super, that's one of the iconic cars. And I just got this in a couple months ago. If you don't know, now you know. This is the brand for that right-hand drive 118 scale RX-7. This is a badass uh, toy, so I gotta find somewhere to put this. Most likely, this is gonna be in the glass case along with the one that I build over here. Um, got a couple RX-7s. There's a black Turbo 2, white Turbo 2, which I'm gonna modify to make it look like my convertible. And who can forget the one from um, Tokyo, no, not Tokyo Drift. This is uh, Too Fast, Too Furious. That's the RX-7. And of course, I got a couple other cars around here, Hot Wheels and everything. So I'm going to be cleaning this up, packing everything in here. And a good thing with these Husky uh, two boxes, two chesses, they have locks in here so you can lock everything up. And um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Yeah, this is a really nice piece. I bought this chest when I first moved into the house. These two um, together, and they dropped it off right in front of the garage. It's heavy as hell to get in here, but I mean, it's nice. So I'm gonna finish packing up this area, and then we're gonna move on down to the motors and the transmission and the bumpers. And um, I've been out here for an hour already, and it looks like I haven't done anything, but I have. But we're gonna keep moving forward. All right guys, so it's been days of cleaning and clearing out everything out of the garage and I'm finally all set for the guys to come over and start doing the uh, sheetrock and prepping everything. So I'm gonna leave the, leave, I'm gonna leave the toolbox and the tool chest inside. Um, the, the guys that's gonna be working on the garage, they said they're just gonna cover everything up. I'm not gonna move these rotary, this rotary motor 13B and a 4G outside. I'm just gonna leave it inside. It's too heavy, I don't wanna have to jack it up and do all that crazy stuff they said they can work around this since i'm not doing a floor right now anyway so um i'm just gonna leave my heater inside because it is cold you can tell by scarf and hat and everything that i'm wearing it's about 18 degrees right now so i'm gonna leave the heater in here so they can spackle and it can help with the drying time right now it's about one o'clock in the morning so i have to work in the morning uh, tomorrow the guys are gonna come here bright and early. They're gonna start tearing everything down um, I'm gonna be working a double shift, but I'm gonna try to get some footage of them working I'm gonna set up the GoPro and see if we can get some footage going on so we can see this garage get done finally So I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace All right, everybody, so we're back to the renovation um, Everything's getting done in the garage. It's cold as outside. It's about negative 10 it feels like a negative 100. I barely can breathe and talk right now. So anyway, I ran to the garage. Um, just wanted to show you guys what we're up to. Mostly all the electrical is done. We got all the new outlets for which I, uh, we have all the new outlets that I wanted to add um, back here for the toolboxes. That's gonna be for the TV. Um, this was an old one that we had. I had them add a few back here because I'm gonna be putting the four post list in the back. So I want to be able to plug them in the back where you're not going to be able to see it too much. You can see how they ran the wires underneath the uh, drywall through the studs there. Um, added some over here. This one's always been there. So uh, added more outlets here. They added a light and I'm going to put one on the west side of my garage so it can shine in that dark spot because you all you know, everybody knows that I have bears around here. So I have them on both sides of the garage doors, which I didn't have before, which is good. If I have to work on something outside, I can just plug it in here, run it right out the garage door instead of running an extension cord all the way over here like I used to do. I also added an outlet up here because I am gonna be adding a door opener on the side over here. Um, not the traditional one that you add in the middle because I don't want anything in the middle. Um, it's going to be on the side mount and I'm also going to raise I'm going to have somebody come in and raise this garage railing so I can raise the door a little bit so yeah so it's going pretty good um, they also added the on the beam because I'm going to have lights in the middle of the beam now um, they added all the wiring for the uh, center lights for the beam so I'm, I'm super excited and as I'm talking we're getting a delivery for all the sheetrock from Home Depot
right, so it's a Sunday morning. Sheetrock guys are gonna come in. We got this dropped off yesterday. I'm just gonna open up the shop today for the uh, those guys that's coming in today. Electricity is all done. Uh, the guys are gonna start patching everything up and start getting the sheetrock done. It's really cold, so I was told by the uh, contractor that um, yesterday we didn't have everything in, but they wouldn't have spaffled anyway the other, uh, yesterday if they had the sheetrock up because of how cold it was and they don't want it to crack. So, right, so this is day three of the renovations. Uh, sheetrock guys, they just left for the night. Let's see exactly what they did. I still don't have electricity in here right now because they turned everything off because of the new outlets. But let's take a look. So everything looks great right now. Just with this sheetrock in here with no primer or anything, you can just see how bright the room is from what it looked like before. Everybody, we're back on the garage renovation. So it's day six or seven, eight, I lost count. We're under two weeks, that's all I know. So everything was cleared out. Everything was uh, spackled and sheet rocked up. So let me just show you guys where, what point we're at right now. So they completed the ceiling with everything with the final spackle. They're letting this dry, they sand everything down. I'm not sure if they're gonna come and do another light sand. But everything, all the seams are seamless. It looks really beautiful. I mean, can we use that word for a garage, beautiful? It looks sick, man, it looks dope. So anyway, I'm loving how they boxed in this beam, the way that they did it, it looks crazy. I've always wanted, since I moved into the house, to either paint this beam or just box it out how this is. But I never fit, I never imagined that it would look this nice being boxed. You couldn't even tell that it was a beam there. Even though you see it sticking down, it just looks like it's made for the lights that's gonna hang there. But this looks dope. I'm super stoked and super pumped about getting this garage painted. Um, I just wanted to show you guys exactly where we're at with this project. The renovation is going on. So um, the cabinet should be arriving in the next couple weeks. Um, next video, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna be getting the garage painted in the theme that I like. Um, we're gonna be getting the uh, door trim, the door painted, window trims, the base of the walls painted, and the whole room's gonna be painted. So we're gonna be going with a nice theme. I think you guys are gonna like it. I already have something in mind, but I'm back and forth about the colors. Cause I want everything to match with the colors in the floor uh, and the colors of the wall and everything. So just stay tuned and always love and peace.